As some of you might have noticed, I have some new wording on my containers. One of them is to end qualified immunity. And the reason for that is even if it had served a purpose in the past, it does not now. The reason being is that it is so commonly abused by cops who just kill people, maim people, brutalize people. Okay, that it's it's just not worth it anymore. And it needs to stop. We need to have the system set up to where a, a corrupt officer will serve the same sentence as a regular citizen for breaking the same law. And, and they need to be held accountable. Uh, uh, accountable. And, and there's no way to hold police accountable for their actions when they are in the wrong without ending qualified immunity. It is a very commonly used excuse. It is something that some lawyers are scared of, so they don't take cases where people have an issue with the police. I'm not the only one uh, who you know, lawyers feel like, you know, that, that, that if, if there's qualified immunity, what can I do? You know? And that needs to stop. It, it's it's so commonly abused. It contributes to a very large percentage of the divide between the police and citizens and the fact that people more and more often are learning to fear the police instead of looking that, at them as peacekeepers and protectors. By ending qualified immunity and we can we can start holding corrupt officials accountable for their actions so that they can serve the proper sentence for their actions. That will deter officers who have bad intent from breaking the law because they're not immune to their actions anymore. And that's a, that, it's a very important thing. I'm not the only... A person with a movement that is pushing to end qualified immunity. It's just, it's, we don't live in a time any, anymore where it serves a purpose. Uh, what, give me a good reason that we should allow our police to break the law when they're the ones that need to be enforcing it. So give that some thought.